Welcome again to another evening of prayer. I hope this evening finds you and those you love still well. Like last Wednesday, this evening we'll also gather in several places. These places, like the businesses we visited last week, are also closed, but not to business, only to visitors. For these places are places that are caring for the most vulnerable in our community. And the residents who are quarantined here are without the comfort of friends and family being able to come and visit. They need our prayers. And the staff who come every day and try not to bring the virus or leave work with the virus need our prayers. And of course, those who are not able to visit and miss being with those they love need our prayers as well. We begin not far from Grace, here at the field home, where several of our Grace members have come for rehab and for recovery, and where one is stuck in his room right now. It is a place that definitely is in need of our prayers. So I welcome you to this evening prayer together. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess to you that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and the words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of Almighty God, we are united with Jesus Christ, and in him we are forgiven. We rest now in his peace, and we rise in the morning to serve him.
continue our evening prayer here in Somers at what most people remember as Somers Manor, but is now the paramount at Somers. It is another place that several Grace members have been through in their rehabilitations, and one is now living. Unfortunately, it was also the place where Grace's first COVID death occurred. He was buried at a small graveside a service just last Friday. We pray for his wife, his widow now, who lives here alone, and uh, for her family and for her friends that would like to be able to come and visit with her and support her in this time of grief, but are not able to because of the virus. This virus is making a difficult time even more difficult for some people, and they definitely need our prayers. I ask you to join me this evening in reading responsively Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
Our reading for this evening comes from the Gospel of Luke, the seventh chapter. A centurion there had a slave whom he valued highly and who was ill and close to death. When the centurion heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him, asking him to come and heal his slave. When the Jewish elders came to Jesus, they appealed to him earnestly, saying, This centurion is worthy of having you do this for him, for he loves our people greatly, and he has built a synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent a friend to him, saying, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. Therefore, do not presume to come. I do not presume to come to you. But only speak the word and let my servant be restored. For I am a man set under authority with soldiers under me. And I say, go, and he goes, and to another come, and he comes. And I say, do this, and the slave does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd that followed him, he said, I tell you that not even in Israel have I found such faith. When those who he had sent returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Here at the plaza at Clover Lake, where another member of Grace resides, who enjoyed having visits from her friends from Grace, but has been quarantined since March. As we visit these places where the most vulnerable are trying to stay safe, hopefully we are reminded that the precautions that we are taking are not just for our own safety, but also out of our love for our neighbors. We take extra care around others to keep them safe as well. We need prayer too to stay focused on this goal and to patiently endure the ongoing inconveniences of having to wear a mask and remain socially distanced. But it is a matter of life and death for some folks in our community. May the Lord sustain our hope that indeed this too will pass in time. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Let us pray. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and the chances of life may find our rest in you. Risen Christ, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing on the many who are anxious and afraid this night. Come to them with your presence that they will know peace and find rest from their troubles. To those who are struggling to breathe, give breath. To those racked with fever, bring relief. To those who are weary in their serving and care of others, give strength and patience risen Christ, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly ask that you hear the prayers that we offer for ourselves in this moment. Risen Christ, hear our prayers. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troubled life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. The fever of our life is over and our work is done. 
Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as we have been taught, so we also pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.